Oh hi, welcome back. I'll be explaining to you about time offset in the step effector in Cinema 4D, a 3D modeling program used so that when the first cube, the front cube is moving, the back cube will follow the movement after several frames. And then uh, the cubes at the back will follow the motion of the cubes in front. So let's start making one. Click on the cube object. Afterwards, um, you need to create a motion. Set the number of frames to, let's say, 300. Type any number of frame, just like 300. And then afterwards, you do some animation. Head over to coordinates, click on it, and then um, click on the diamond to make a new keyframe for the vertical position. Afterwards, um, you want to head over to 100 frames and then uh, you want to make an upward kind of motion. Drag the slider. Click on the diamond to make a new keyframe. Drag it to 200 frames and then uh, you want to bring the cube downwards. Click on the diamond and then at the final frame, you want to uh, drag it upwards again. Hmm, yeah, just like this and then you make a new keyframe, just like so. All we have to do now is to clone the cube. Click on cloner, drag the cube into the cloner, afterwards um, click on cloner, head over to object and then untick the box for reset coordinates, change the mode into linear, and then um, set it to zero for the Y amount, and then um, Drag the slider for the Z amount so that it looks like this. Increase the count to make some, you know, duplications, just like so. Afterwards, um, we go to an effector, which is called the step effector. Click on MoGraph, head over to effector. Afterwards, click on step. We're done. Head over to parameter. Untick the box for scale. Afterwards, um, this is what's important, which is the topic of the video, which is time offset. If we increase, no, no, no. If we play the animation, the cubes will have a similar motion with each other. Let's say if you want to have the second cube to um, to follow the movement of the front cube after several frames. Drag the slider, let's say after mm, 45 frames, 47, and then the remaining cubes behind the front cubes follow the movement as well. And then if we play the animation, it will look like this. Ooh, yeah, fancy. Increase the time offset, actually. So that it's looking wavy. Ooh, pretty cool, eh? And uh, you can even do some tweaks with the rotation of each cube by dragging uh, the slider for the H1. And then you can make a keyframe as well. Mm, just like this. Click on the diamond and then at the end um, drag it until um, let's say 120. Make a keyframe just like so and then you can copy the cloner, drag it to the right, for example, and then um, maybe you change the direction a bit, and then click on this. Afterwards, you copy it again, drag it to the left. Afterwards, um, you um, want to um, hmm, do this, and then you make a new keyframe. Now your animation is looking cool now. That's how you can use the time offset in the step effector in Cinema 4D. Thank you for watching. Do drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. From me, it's good day. Ciao!